My name is Patricia Almeida. This project is called My Life is Going to Change and it will be basically an installation and uh, I'll be sharing some photographs done with um, young people, uh, art and design students. It's uh, based on an archive I've, const I've started constructing since 2011, based on uh, newspaper cuts from uh, major political and economical issues uh, on Europe. I, uh, I wanted to work with young people uh, mostly because I've been doing it for a long time for uh, my other projects. I've been always a lot of times doing, dealing with uh, the subject of young people and um, also because uh, they would uh, represent more the, the conflict between what we uh, the political decisions and imagery that uh, goes around all, with all this uh, uh, economic situation and political situation and uh, uh, what their expectations are for the future. That is the new social for me. My name is Massimo Berruti. I'm an Italian documentary photographer and I've been working on social issues, related issues, for about 10 years. Uh, for this uh, uh, new social topic that we have been called to, to work about. Uh, I choose to work uh, uh, about the social unrest uh, that have been taking place in uh, Istanbul and the rest of Turkey uh, for about uh, two months until now. I found myself in the middle of uh, this protest uh, and I decided that uh, the movement was really interested to be represented because they have been showing a particular kind, I mean, uh, some kind of new kind of, of engagement, one for the other, and uh, how those people have been able to push forward the protest for so long. I'm still working on it, and uh, it will be, will be interesting to see how it's going to end. Hello, my name is Linda Bunan Engelbert. I'm a documentary photographer from Norway. On this team, the new social, my approach was to work with the, something related to the financial crisis in Europe. And I chose to work in Latvia, where about 200,000 people from a population of one to millions left the country after the crisis. I wanted to see how this was affecting the young people, since most of the people leaving were in between 20 and 30 years old. So I started to document the people uh, in the villages and now this photo is a part of the exhibition The New Social that starts here at the Nobel Peace Center. Hello, uh, my name is Jan Brykczyński and I'm a Polish photographer based in Warsaw. I'd, I've been doing documentary photography for eight, eight years now uh, and in my work I mostly, uh, I mostly work in, in Eastern Europe and uh, I often, often focus on uh, relations between men and, and, and nature and so I would stay for a long time in, in the European countryside uh, photographing little, little communities in Ukraine and in Iceland. For the EPIA I, I, went, I moved more to the Western Europe, I photographed in, in Belgium. The story that I work on is, is, is a particular story of, of one, one person uh, that uh, that I, I'm trying to, on her example, to show this this phenomena of an aging aging society. So it will be one person, quite personal story, and and objects and and her her, her life and her house. So this is this is the general general idea of, of, of the new social. So somehow I go I go back to the old old social in a way that it's somebody somebody who, who already lived this long life. But on this example, I can really show what is waiting for, for myself and what, is, what waits for, for, for the others in, in, in the future. So somehow to reflect on, on this, on this aging, aging uh, society and, and different aspects, aspects of it. The project I'm making for the new social is more uh, what it represents uh, in the place where I live, in Porto, in Portugal. What it is, what is the new social today um, in a city that uh, has been um, and in a country that is in a very um, economic crisis and a very uh, strong depression with uh, very high levels of unemployment. 
The history of Porto is very bourgeois. Uh, it was one of the motor of the Portuguese economy and it's declining. I'm not uh, looking for answering to this or, or, or showing the new social. I'm much more interested in what is the new social for me. I work with a large format camera, so uh, I have all these um, uh, long process of walking and thinking and uh, and looking to to the places before photographing. So I think the construction is much more inside my uh, myself than the other way. Sometimes it can be very hard. It can take more time, but it's important that it is uh, that I work with what is in front of me, and that is the, the main idea. Hi, my name is Simona Gizzoni and I'm a photographer based in Rome. I've been working as a photographer since 2006 and I mainly focus on uh, women issues and uh, long-term documentary projects. In this EPEA project where I'm involved now, I've been working on the theme of new social in uh, an autobiographical way so I'm exploring uh, my neighborhood, my life, and the life of the people that are close to me. And what I discovered is that, in my opinion, we're going towards a more individualistic style of life. I experimented in my personal life, like uh, moving from town to town three times. And each time I changed my environment and I changed the people that I had around, I felt more uh, lonely, which is not um, which is not only in a bad uh, in a bad meaning, but it's also like a, a feeling that can uh, help you to to create new things in your life. So the same thing uh, is the thing that I saw in the most of the people that I portrayed in uh, in the work for the EPL. Hello, I'm Eric Girardet de Boudemange. Born in boulogne billancourt in uh, France, I currently live in Amsterdam. My personal approach for the new social is uh, maybe more a uh, conceptual one, uh, not treating about uh, social aspects or contemporary society. It would be more a reflection on how images are produced today. Uh, for this new social, I, as a political or artistic gesture, I, 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 I decided to take time using uh, carrier pigeons in a protocol to, uh, to um, uh, create images regarding the time that they would take uh, during their uh, migration. Uh, so taking the time to make images, the time for uh, a pigeon to go from uh, Paris to the pigeon hole in Lille, uh, from Brussels to the pigeon hole, uh, etc. until Amsterdam and Germany, uh, is, a, is a gesture of uh, slowness in a way to um, to be um, to make a, a reference about the speedness of the world that uh, surrounds us. I hope the viewer will be able to uh, sense this slowness and uh, reflect on the um, yeah the the, the, the na nature of the images and uh, how uh, the acceleration speed of internet also influence our uh, daily. Um, relationship to uh, images. My name is Kirill Golovchenko. I am in uh, Ukraine and I am am Schwarzen Meer aufgewachsen in Schönstadt Odessa. Ich äh, für IP mache äh, ist über Strand, was was für mich ganz logisch ist, weil äh, das ist meine Kindheit, meine Jugend habe ich am Strand verbracht. Und ich finde generell, dass am Strand etwas anderes geschieht als, äh, als sonst wo. Das ist, ein, äh, das ist ein öffentlicher Platz. Ich bin der Meinung, dass die Menschen dort äh, konfrontiert sind damit, äh, wie sie es tun, wie sie, wie sie sich kleiden, wie sie sich verhalten, wie, was tun sie überhaupt am Strand. Weil für viele ist das eine Ausnahmesituation. Sie, sie sind erstes Mal im Leben als erwachsener Mensch zum Beispiel zum Schwarzen Meer gefahren. Für diese Arbeit habe ich einen Mittel benutzt, um die Bilder zu machen. Meine Tochter hatte einen Schwimmring, weil sie war fünf, sechs und sie hat 
gelernt zu schwimmen und äh, sie hatte so einen wunderschönen blauen Ring, blau wie dieses Wasser im Schwarzen Meer. Und ich habe das genommen und habe durch diesen Ring fotografiert. Es gibt Strandabschnitte, wo, wo, wo ich nichts fotografieren kann und es gibt andere, wo es ganz, äh, ganz interessant ist. Und das hängt alles von der Optik des Strands, auch von den Menschen, die dorthin kommen, das muss zusammenpassen. Hello, uh, my name is Arja Hütjainen. I am from Finland. Uh, I live in France. Uh, I have a past in Europe between um, Berlin and Paris. I also lived in Sweden and in Czech Republic, which uh, I believe makes me quite European. And what brings me to new social and EPR is uh, at the moment the family values. It's a theme for me that became important when I personally became a mother, but I also want to research the social issues of family that has changed in the last decade. And more especially between the, the last 10 years of my own personal subjective point of view. Um, Who is family? What are the values of family? What is creating an individual? And what kind of uh, society it will create for us to live in? I'm a Norwegian photographer, Espen Rasmussen. I'm based in close to Oslo in Norway. Uh, and I'm um, working actually as a full-time picture editor in a Norwegian newspaper. I'm part of the EPA group who's going to work on the social theme, new social. I used a lot of time thinking about uh, the theme and, uh, and how to kind of develop it into an interesting project. So what I'm kind of done is to focus on a Norwegian theme. Uh, I'm working close to my home, uh, finding um, people who we in English might call oddballs, which are these uh, very often men who have nicknames and live in small societies and everybody knows who they are and they are often a bit different than any, everybody else. They, uh, they, um, they often behave a bit differently, they often sp talk about different things than the rest of the society. They often collect, on, uh, collect things like uh, cars and, and, and plastic and all these things. Today there's almost no one left because they are They don't fit in anymore and, and the society doesn't really appreciate these kind of men who are very different. Uh, so they are put on medications or they are put into retirement homes or, or kind of moved away from the society. Part of this project is also to try and, and find these last oddballs that still lives the way they want and, 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 to, and to follow their, uh, their life. So that's, uh, that's my project and that's my kind of a uh, new social, look into the new social. Hello, I'm Stephanie Steinkorb. I studied photography at Oskreuz School for Photography. In my uh, photographic work, I'm, I focused on social relevant topics uh, nowadays in society. And uh, I like to work on long-term projects because uh, within I can develop close relationship to people and that's uh, very important for me and for my work. For the IPEA, for the new social, I decided uh, to work uh, on homelessness in Berlin at the Berliner Hauptbahnhof because I think uh, homelessness becomes more and more invisible and uh, uh, it uh, becomes uh, as well as uh, a wider problem because uh, it's uh, through the whole society. It could be possible that uh, you, uh, somebody is sitting uh, on site to you in the, at, at the metro and you uh, even don't realize that uh, uh, he or she is homeless. And so that's important to work on. Hi, I'm Paula Winkler from Berlin. And uh, for this specific project for um, the new social, I decided to focus on the male nude. Um, because with nudes, um, I have the problem that it's, um, most of them are created for the male viewer. Um, the female nudes as well as the male nudes. And I want to find out how a male nude could 
look like if it was addressed to me as a woman. Um, this is a very um, uh, interesting task uh, to me because on the one hand I, um, I desire the male body but um, on the other hand I also have a critical understanding of uh, gender roles and I know how images especially of naked uh, people are perceived. So um, I try to um, focus on the male body as an object of desire um, in regard to my gaze at them.